Good morning, you two. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I have a super exciting but also nerve-wracking video here. Uh, Daffodil is a Het Ultramel. She was bred by Jurassic, who is a puzzle. And uh, I let her incubate her own eggs. We uh, had been checking, keeping everything moist. I know there were a few duds in there. Um... I didn't end up being able to remove them. They were all glued onto the clutch, and she was kind of already wrapped on them. But all I kept watching the other eggs. It didn't seem to spread any problems to the other eggs. However, the first baby pipped like three days ago, and I haven't seen any of the others. So I finally decided I'm going to go ahead and pull Daffodil off, put her up in a new tub, and I'm going to check on these eggs. Uh, I just want to make sure they're okay. I'm nervous. Here it goes. And I'm by myself, so my filming is going to suck. I'm sorry. All right. Daffodil. Let's see here. Look at that. I, I don't know why, guys, exactly. But this is so much more like... I don't know what to call it. Special, I guess than seeing them pip in the incubator. This is so freaking cool. Just how nature intended it. Just a beautiful mama taking care of her babies. I just absolutely love this. So every single baby should be Het Puzzle. Half of them are Het Ultramel. Oh, so, so cool. Uh, and you'll notice that's one of the babies from the back that is out of his egg. Um, that's great. That means I did a much better job than last time of keeping it moist all the way around. So I'm happy to see that. Uh, I apologize. I'm going to have to pause to get her off the eggs. Uh, and then I'll be right back to it, okay? Here she is. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very skinny, <laughs> as would be expected. Oh, such a good job, Daffodil. Beautiful, beautiful work. Get you put away. And let's see what is going on with these eggs. Okay, so this baby is like out. He's out. <laughs> you can see there was a dud right here that's almost just completely withered away. Now I am fascinated how this baby is looking. I don't know why it looks like this. That looks... Like a, like a desert ghost. But uh, it's not. Can't be. Looks kind of pastel-y, I guess. I, <laughs> I don't know what in the heck this is. This is a proven female and a proven male. And nothing that we've bred to her in the past, like if it were a retained sperm thing, should look anything like this. So I don't know what in the heck this is. But I love it. Very cool. Set you down for just a minute, you little beauty, you. All right, so you came out of this egg. This is your empty. Okay, let's get that off there. Okay. Am I right? Yeah. There's a little bit of unused yolk in there, but no... No problems, and the baby looks great. Well, there's quite a bit of unused yolk in there, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. I'm going to have to uh, keep an eye out so I don't lose some of these babies. Here's the bad egg. I think that might... Well, this one doesn't look great either. Some of these we're going to have to see, guys. So I uh, once again, I apologize. I'm going to cut these open, and I will show them to you on camera still, don't you worry. There's that little guy doing his thing like nature taught him. So cute. So cute. Um, let's see how this goes. So I took the super full egg that was right here and uh, cut it and the albumin ran clear and uh, perfectly healthy baby in there that's moving and once again it looks an awful lot 
<laughs> like a desert ghost. I do not know what in the world is going on here. I am baffled. I'm gonna put this actually over here. I got a little tub ready. Um, our little friend is still in his nook. Let's do another. This guy was about ready to come out on his own, started wriggling as soon as I picked up the egg. Got him open, he's already taking his breath. Oh, look at that. New life, guys, new life. Just nothing more exciting. And this looks more typical, a little bit bright compared to a normal. However, it's potentially het for two different things. Um, so that actually, I've been thinking, um, you know, het clowns, het ultramels, het desert ghosts. Uh, there's a lot of these recessive animals that in their het form definitely become brighter, cleaner than a normal ball python. So maybe just two layers of het between the het ultramel and the het uh, puzzle is enough to explain the extremely bright colors on, on these babies. I, I don't know. That's, that's my guess for now. But uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, this is the other super full one from right in that notch. And uh, it doesn't have that same crazy look to it uh, of brightness. So uh, I'm actually thinking that might mean this one is only het puzzle. It has that telltale pattern of a het puzzle. Um, again, none of this is official, guys. These are recessive traits, but... Although, I guess Desert Ghost isn't, right? But, uh... Het puzzles generally have this wonky look, and this whole clutch we know is het puzzle. So my guess is this one, with a more of a neutral color, uh, is het puzzle, of course, being from a visual puzzle dad, but is not het ultramel. Whereas those other super bright ones probably were. That, that's what I think is going on here. It was just more extreme than I would have expected, but that is a very, uh, I mean, I would, of course, coming from a visual puzzle dad, but even without that, I would have guessed this is a het puzzle. And uh, beautiful little guy. All right, so this one had me a little bit worried because it was so much more desiccated than the others, but uh, open it up. There's a perfectly formed baby, same size, plenty of moisture still in there. Uh, no issues whatsoever that I can see. Really nice color again. Man, what a color on a, a normal, right? Super beautiful baby. Can't wait to see this guy. Uh, let's move on to the next. Okay, so I dug this guy out. He was starting to move even further back. It's very small hatchling. Looks perfectly formed though. Just can't believe how bright he is. So uh, the two duds obviously had nothing, uh, but there were two other eggs. One of them had barely, barely formed. There was just a bit of an embryo that obviously didn't make it very far. The other one had a fully formed baby in it uh, with the umbilical wrapped around its neck and it had not made it. So that was really sad to see. I'm not gonna show that on camera. Um, that's not, you know, sometimes I do show, you know, more distressing things. But that's not the point of today's vlog. This is a happy video, so that was really sad. Um, that is one reason that people cut eggs, guys. I know it's an unpopular thing, but uh, man, I'm just wondering now, if I had cut these eggs when this guy pipped three days ago, could I have saved that baby? I, I don't know. I have no idea. It looked, it looked, I mean, there's no rot or anything. Like, it just died, and I feel really bad, but... Uh, the rest of the clutch is fantastic. There's five healthy babies here um, from six good eggs. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, so I would say overall, far more successful than last time. We've got a good hatch. I'll get these set up and we will uh, get some pictures of this fascinating color on this little guy or girl. And uh, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, we're the Reptile Barn.